What's the deal, y'all? This your man, King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. Subscribe at the like button for me. And, man, I was going to keep a little bit quiet about this at first, but I figure I will give my intake on this and give a more broader perspective on what's going on with this situation here. Now, White 100, a.k.a. Costello 100, he's going down. Let's be clear, like, if... The way Hassan Campbell played this, and there's more tapes involved with him talking down on people that he publicly acknowledged, it's over for him. It's over for him. Career is going to be done. It's going to even hurt game even more because, see, game can't even travel. Like, look at the heat that this man um, put out there for game even. This artist can't even travel and make money. And I figure, what what is the cost of all of this? What is the cost of putting Nipsey Hussle's personal business out like that? And I'm going to get to that in a second. But I looked at it on both ways, man. I looked at it with how this started. Hassan looked kind of slimy doing that in the first place. Like, why would you still do a podcast with this man knowing he telling you this type of stuff about Big U and Nipsey and all these other people. Why would you still associate yourself with that type of individual knowing he's a slime ball? That go to show you Hassan's intentions either. Like he didn't really care. He wanted a bag. So I looked at him kind of funny. And that whole ordeal of taping conversations, that's fed like. Not defending whack, but I'm looking at Hassan's detentions first. Like, and knowing all this, and knowing that he's taking credit for allegedly blackmailing Nipsey Hussle, why would you still want to do business with this man? Now, let's go to this here. With Nipsey, with, um, Whack 100, see how this started. The podcast, everybody went good. Everything was good accordingly. Then it changed on Clubhouse. And then Wax started just burying Hassan. Like, he didn't know him. I don't know you, bro. We don't do business together. But yet, your word don't mean a damn either. Because look at you. You tell, you pillow talking with this man about everybody else's personal business. So both these guys really don't have a leg to stand on credibility-wise, in my opinion. But this situation here don't put the green light on WAC 100 because this word don't mean a damn. I personally don't believe he has a tape of Nipsey Hussle doing those sonomy-type things because why he ain't put it out when he was alive? That's number one. Number two, this is the same person... That faked the, that faked the um, Mike Tyson fight. He he staged his own fight. He lied about not knowing who Hassan really was, but yet you're going to invite the nigga on your podcast. You're going to do clubhouse with him. You're going to Peloton with him, but you act like you don't know him. He throws his, his deceased homeboy under the bus. This guy stands for really nothing. And... Being that, the way things are going now with what he said about Big U, Big U also responded by posting a poke picture of Nipsey Hussle. Then he posted something else saying he doesn't get down with informants. Costello 100 is digging his own grave. Now, this is what's going to do it. If what he said, anything derogatory about K Slay, he's done. Because K. Slate is a beloved individual. K. Slate is basically the last bridge that WAC 100 really has in New York City. He's going to be food out there. The only reason why he was able to walk around and do what he do was because of K. Slate. And vice versa. But maybe it's just me, y'all. But I can't stand next to a nigga. And get chummy with a dude that deceit that 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 pretty much disrespected my homeboy. Like I see a lot of these guys talk about we love Nipsey. 
the Nipsey, my homie, but yet you standing next to this guy? You doing podcasts with this nigga? And yet, smiling and grinning and kiki and ha ha with this dude? But yet, you saying Dipsy was your boy, but yet you'll kill an outsider? Something don't, ain't, ain't right with that with me. Even a prime example. I got offered to do an interview with Charleston White and I turned it down. I know it probably would have given me some clout. But being how he disrespected my man Gonzo, I can't do it. I don't want nothing to do with that guy whatsoever. I'm not trying to be friends with him. I'm not trying to have any involvement or be cool with him, period. I don't care how the clout looks. Because, nigga, you disrespecting my homeboy, and I'm like, I'm not having that. So I respectfully declined it. And that's where it stands. See, a lot of people don't really have that type of integrity anymore, man. They, they'll go ahead and cheese and smile and kiss these dudes just to get to the bag. But look what you're sacrificing. You're sacrificing your dignity. And see, this is what ages of chaos do. White 100, Charleston White, um... Hassan Campbell to a degree, Ac academics, Takashi, all these people are ages of chaos because there's nothing really good come from these guys whenever you see any content related to them. That's what ages of chaos do. And I'm going to tell you how some of these ages build a following. They'll talk 90% bullshit, but they'll hook you with the 10% truth. And then, 90% of the stuff they saying is lies, it's going to be debunked, it's bullshit. But that 10% mixed in with this incoherent rambling is what draw people in. Oh, he's real. Oh, he's a real one. You ain't going to, you get the un unauthentic truth for this one. That's how they lure you. They'll strike one chord with what you agree with and you follow them. Not knowing the ninety percent of the the stuff that they that the, uh, not just ninety percent of the rhetoric they talk is bull, but that's how they lure the people. That gift for gab is cold, and for Hassan to build twelve thousand followers to check in on that shit, I gotta give him credit. But if this stuff happens with K Slay, and you start seeing footage of him slandering Slay coming out there, it's over for Costello 100. Costello 100 is done. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. This is King Eric signing out. Holla.